Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Explorer. If you're new here, my name is Ken. And I'm Andrea. We are headed over to Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas for a seven night Mexican cruise. We're so excited for this cruise. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on this week's adventure. We're here in Los Angeles. We're gonna head over to the cruise port right now. So we dropped off our rental car and we're taking an Uber over the Vincent Thomas Bridge here in San Pedro to the Los Angeles World Cruise Center. We are getting our first glimpse of Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas as we pull into port, but this is not her. This is the USS Iowa. It's actually a museum that you can book and tour around. The Navigator of the Seas is docked right beside her and we've got convenient access here to berth 91 and 92. It was actually really easy to drop off here. Not a lot of traffic. You get dropped off right next to the terminal and the porters are waiting to take your bags. Yes, we're here a little bit early, but uh, we're gonna go line up shortly. We are here. Navigator of the Seas. There she is. The water slide looks like it's running. Are you gonna go sliding? Right now? <laughs> Let's go line up. You line up according to your arrival window. We have a 10.30 arrival time, so we will line up here, but there are additional lines further down based on arrival times. Now, it's pretty hot out here. We're hoping to get inside pretty quick. It's 10.30. 10.30? 10.30 on the button and we are through security and on our way to the ship. I'm so excited. Me too. Me too. I love getting on the ship. Here we go. We're on board. On board. Hello, Navigator. This is a beautiful show. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's way out there. We're gonna do our mustard drill right away, so A1. A1, and we'll get it done. <laughs> mustard is done. We are ready to explore. We actually could have watched the mustard drill information on the app before we got on the ship, but we didn't do it this time. That's okay, they just gave us a quick demonstration. It was really fast and we were off. The Royal Promenade is here on deck five. You can see the cabins overlooking the promenade. There's a bridge there. We've got the Cafe Promenade, as well as the Playmakers Sports Bar and Arcade. They've got a pool table in here and lots of screens with the game on. There's a table shuffleboard there. Mario Brothers, that's pretty retro. Jenga. They've also got complimentary foosball. Kitty corner to Playmakers, you will find to dry for. This is a great place to stop and get your hair done, especially for formal night. Royal Caribbean's known for placing classic cars around their ships and here in the promenade, outside the bamboo room, you're gonna find an orange Volkswagen. There is a beautiful tall chandelier and check out how high the ceilings are. Down the floor you will find a full Starbucks. But let's go over and check out the main dining room. Such a beautiful dining room. It's one of the most beautiful dining rooms. Three stories. Massive chandelier. It's gorgeous. Breaking your rule, I'm peeking at the menu and they have some of my favorites. Spinach and artichoke dip, oh, and crispy crab cake. Slow roasted prime rib, and I'm getting the key lime pie. Let's take a peek inside the Royal Theater. This is a really nice theater. It's beautiful, it's very like traditional theater. Nice incline for views.
check the safety page in Baroque Arena for more information. And welcome on board, everybody. I love the architecture of this ship, it's really neat. This is the adult only solarium pool area. Is the water warm? Oh, nice and warm. Andrea's gonna be happy. Feel it. About my phone? Oh yeah, that's good. That's pretty perfect. At the aft of the ship here on deck 13, you're gonna find a lot of fun. They've got the flow rider back here with great views. There's also the riptide and blaster water slides. You'll find the rock climbing wall back here as well as a large sports court. And there's already some people enjoying it and shooting hoops. Should we go have lunch at the Windhammer? Yes, let's go. A little bit of everything going on here, though. Looks good. Yeah. Chicken, macaroni and cheese. The macaroni and cheese is really good. Yeah, I took some too. That's a nice little crunchy topping going on there. How's the cone? It's good. How's your <laughs> How's your cone? It's almost gone. That's good. One of the great complimentary lunch options is El Loco Fresh, where you can get some nachos, quesadillas, burritos, or you can make a taco with beef, chicken, or pork. They look delicious and we'll have to try this another day. There's also a salsa bar with guacamole and tomatoes and salsas and cheese. Lots of great toppings. Now the ship looks like it's starting to fill up a little bit more, more people are on board, but if you haven't sailed out of San Pedro before, you're basically sailing out of a container port, really a lot to look at, and the Vincent Thomas Bridge, which we went over this morning, is famous for the jump in Gone in 60 Seconds. Cabins are ready, let's go check it out. Andrea, can you give us a tour of our cabin? I'd love to. So we are in cabin 9233. It is an inside cabin towards the front of the ship. But let's start over here on this side. First thing you'll notice is we have a big full-size mirror all the way down to the floor. What's in front of the mirror? A couch. So you can't really see your whole <laughs> outfit. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. It kind of sticks out in front there, but I'd rather have a couch, yeah. There's some foot room. Yeah. That works well. Couch. Now we did bring these hooks and we'll have them linked below in the description. We like to hang stuff off of them. Can you check if the walls are metal there, Andrea? Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah. That works great. And what about the ceiling? Wonderful. Those work really well for our holding up papers and hanging all our lanyards, little, and lanyards, hats, and different things like that. Awesome. Let's head on down here. There is a nightstand on each side of the bed. Okay, and a drawer. There's a little drawer to store your things in. And there is a lamp on each side of the bed with a light switch for the lamp, as well as there's green light on oh, each side. That comes in handy. And then between the pillows is a light switch for the overhead lighting. Okay, and a huge mirror. Huge mirror, it looks like a little shelf that you could store some yeah. small things. Now this side is the exact same thing, but it looks like you've got your telephone over there as well. Swinging around here. So starting at the top, we have some cupboard space. Perfect. We have a safe so you can store your money or your passports, that kind of stuff. A TV, it's about 32 inches. It is on an arm, which is handy, but the unhandy part is it won't turn on. So we're gonna have to uh, talk to our room steward about that. Um, a little uh, fridge see. or cooler down there. Is it cold? Not super cold, but okay. it's cool. And drawers on both sides. Lots of drawers. Now this one I noticed there was, one of them had Kleenex and the other one had your hair dryer. How powerful is that? Oh, let's see. much better than the built-in ones that you find at a hotel. Yeah. Um, lots of lighting here around the mirror. 
And there is some more storage here on the side. Mm -hmm. There's a light switch here for the lighting. Now nice. there's two 120 plugs and then a European plug. And we bring one of these. It's a European adapter with a USB-C and a USB-A port on it. It gives us some extra ports and I'll have that link below in the description as well if you do want to grab one. And then there's also an announcement channel volume here as well that you can adjust. Going up, we have a temperature control. A thermostat. And then our main closet is here as well. It's pretty tight in here. Yeah, it is pretty tight. Are you ready? So we've got a few bags down there that we've already put in there, but there's our life jackets and what did we count? About 24 hangers. That's right. The main light switches here. So by the door there's two hooks here, but let's check out the bathroom. <laughs> You're stuck? I don't fit that way. <laughs> oh yes, look. It's like a glass. I think it's actually like acrylic. Yeah. And does it close? Yay! Yay! That's not, a bonus. Not a shower curtain. And you know what's wonderful? Look at the space here above my head. Mm -hmm. And that shower head looks like it goes up and down. Yes, it does. And there's a body wash in here, two in one. Okay. And I did see above your head there, there is a line as well. Perfect. Which is great for the swimming suits. So in here, there's the toilet, some towels. And I did notice behind the mirror, there is more storage space. This is also great so you can check the back of your hair. Your sink and garbage can, garbage, etc. And if you want to make some more space, you can put your suitcase right under the bed. There's lots of clearance there. So we played with the plugs and I I think the TV might be working right now. I have some hope. It's loading, so I think we're good to go. I hope. Let's go check out the bow of the ship. Deck four, up the stairs. Then we can go out front. Then we can go up on the helicopter pad here as well. The Iowa. Massive cannons. Out here on the front of the ship, this is really cool. Not many ships let you out front. No, it's kind of it's kind of nice though. Mm -hmm. That's a really lovely spot on the ship. It's hot though, really hot. Yeah, the weather is great today. So we're gonna hang out by the flow rider here at the back of the ship and wait for sail away. It's really quiet back here. Not a lot of people using the flow rider. The staff are kind of showing off here a little bit. This guy's pretty good. It's also a great time for beginners to pick up some new skills. Sail away time. Sail away. Do we watch the party or do we watch the land go by? Both. Somehow. <laughs> Both. So we are all unpacked here in our cabin. After sail away, we came back to our room and it feels nice to have everything put away and ready to go for the week. So 
It does, I feel like we're organized and we found a spot for everything. There's actually quite a bit of storage space. Mm -hmm. At first you're kind of like, where are we gonna put everything? But yeah. we figured it out. <laughs> and then we watched some television. I got to see all about the new icon coming out, so. I might have fallen asleep. He did, he did. So <laughs> I learned all about the new icon. But we have my time dining, so we're gonna head to dinner soon. We made the reservation before the cruise, but mm -hmm. you can do standby too. But and, and you can tell me all about the icon on the seas at dinner. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll book that. I don't know, we'll see. Pre-dinner donut. I know, they said it's just tonight though, so I have to have one. Oh, I don't know if this was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had donuts and it was only tonight. Just tonight, I asked. Is it Again or just tonight? Just tonight. So, pre dinner donut before we go <laughs> to the main dining room. What a wonderful evening we had here on the Navigator of the Seas. It's been an amazing day as well. It's been a fun filled day with lots of great activities and mm -hmm. great weather. Yes. Amazing weather. Great weather. The sail away was beautiful. And then tonight we did dinner and we did a couple of shows. Um, there's so much to go over. It was just an awesome evening. Let's start with dinner. So mm -hmm. we have my time dining. So again, we can choose when we want to eat in the main dining room. We just make mm -hmm. a reservation or you can also line up and wait by kind of like standby line. Mm -hmm. So let's start though with what we had. Tonight. Well, first off, we got to sit right by the window, which is a bonus. You did yeah, ask. I did ask. And that was awesome. There was some couples next to us that we chatted with for quite a while. So we had a great time there, but appetizers. Let's start with appetizers. So I had the crispy crab cake. I like to get this because it's different. It's not something mm -hmm. I would make at home. It was yeah, good. Yeah. And I had the, uh, this is one of my favorites, the spinach and artichoke dip. Comes with chips and um, the spinach sauce. You had some of it. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite rich, but it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, highly recommend it. It's a nice, nice appy. It's really, <laughs> and actually quite a bit of sauce or mm -hmm. dip, I should say, not yeah. sauce. Yeah. yeah. It's a generous portion. Now for dinner. For the mains. Main. Yeah. Oh, we, I should also mention we had buns. Oh. Gross buns. And the cheese buns are my favorite. Yeah. Like my favorite. And we had lemonade as well, so it was really good. But the main. Yeah. Oh, I should mention our waiter kept bringing out more drinks too. Like mm -hmm. he was really, he was great that way. Mm -hmm. Um, I had the slow roasted prime rib with mashed potatoes, a little bit of carrots, and broccoli. It looked really good. Yeah, it was a big piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, not too much um, mashed potatoes because I was already pretty full because I might have had a donut before well, dinner. <laughs> this was the problem. We went to the wind jammer just to look just and then they look. were making fresh donuts. And it was tonight only, I asked, tonight only. And you know what? It was so worth it. It was. It was amazing. If you see the fresh donuts, make sure you grab them. They're yeah. really good. Amazing. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the prime rib was really good. Big piece of meat. Mm -hmm. It was tasty. And I had one of my favorites. I've had this before. It's called the Southern Fried Chicken, and it's got a Tabasco and honey sauce. It's not too spicy, but it's got a little bit of zip to it. That's really delicious. It comes with um, some corn on the cob as well as mashed potatoes. That's one of my favorites on here. And I did notice they were serving when we walked up to the donuts that they had fried chicken up in oh. the buffet in the wind jammer as well. So good to know. So if you miss out on the chicken, you can hike up there and grab some. Now for dessert though, I knew what I was getting. When we were on the ovation, Ken ordered the key lime pie and I did not. And I was sad that I didn't because that's the one of my... flavor was amazing. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite desserts. So know, I got them. key lime pie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I had the same thing with a cup of coffee and it was just perfect evening. It was um, really good. In the main dining room. A lot yeah. of flavor, a lot of flavor. Yeah. Let's talk about the shows now though, because the first show we went and saw, I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Well, we've seen, when we were on the Mariner a long time ago, we saw a, a skating show. They have an ice rink here on the ship. Mm -hmm. So that was on the Mariner, but they have that here on the Navigator as well. And they had that again tonight. And this was a really good show. One of the top shows I've seen on a cruise ship in recent memory, for sure. It was sure. amazing. I don't think it was the exact same show that we no, saw No, I don't think it Mariner. was the same show for sure, but yeah. it was just another a skating show. Well, they started with drones but i'll tell you what it's called it's called the ice skate reach for the stars and it's in the studio b so the ice skating rink here but they started with drones in the dark which fly around 
and they light up and do a show. And you could feel, well, we were front row. Mm -hmm. So you could feel the, the air, the cool air moving when those drones turned on. Yeah. Even when the figure skaters went by, we could feel that rush of air. Mm -hmm. So the drone's really cool, changing colors, doing different formations, flying around. Uh, I really enjoyed that. And that's before the skaters really even mm -hmm. come out. And then the skaters come out and they put on an awesome, awesome show to music. Mm -hmm. I don't know what all the terms are, but they do their axles and spins and even like um, spinning people around and over their head and all sorts of fun stuff. So they're amazing. And keep in mind, this ice rink is really small. Mm -hmm. So they don't have all that space to skate down the ice and build up speed. So they're having to like really work mm -hmm. in a small amount of space with a lot of other skaters. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like, it's yeah. pretty tight. It's there. There is kind of a stage at the back where they kind of go up on platforms and things, but it was really good. And the costumes are good and the music was good. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Like yeah. the whole time I was sad that I couldn't share it with my friends because mm -hmm. I knew some of them would have just really enjoyed it. So. Yeah. For sure, it was on twice tonight, I believe at 7-ish and 9.15. So if you see that, make sure you go see I Skate Reach for the Stars here on the Navigator. Then from there, we went straight over to the main theater. So welcome aboard show. Yes, I love the theater on here, by the way. It's, it's really nice. Really good sight lines mm -hmm. and comfy chairs. It's really high and lots of great views. There's a good incline too, so you don't have mm -hmm. uh, people's heads blocking your view yeah. so you, have, you can see really nicely which is great yeah no for sure um so they had a uh, welcome aboard show they the, the band. navigator band was out there playing their mm -hmm. their little music which mm -hmm. they're really good by the mm -hmm. way and then um we had the dancers some ballroom dancing yeah kind of a, a pre-show of something coming up later in the week it's a hint for the little <laughs> taste of the show to come yeah and then we got to meet the cruise director and then there was the comedian, and he was probably about half an hour. He was really funny. He was really funny. So funny that half my mascara I got smushed up the side of my face because I was <laughs> crying. I was laughing so yeah. hard. So like, what a great night to enjoy. Stephen, Stephen Thomas was his yes. name, by the way. So yeah. yeah, it's like a great night though when you enjoy like the arts of figure skating, mm -hmm. and then you could laugh so hard that you cry and enjoy great food. Yeah, just a really a lovely really, day. really good first day of shows and and dinner. So. Tomorrow. But first I want to say oh, something. Okay, yeah. So we went out this afternoon and watched the Flow Rider and warning for you, all I want to say is make sure you do up the drawstrings on your shorts really well. Um, Cause so we saw the full caboose on somebody. It was neither of us. <laughs> neither of us, theirs. but uh, yeah, you want to make sure your uh, shorts Sorry. stay up <laughs> when you fall. So, um, but uh, yeah, good sports out there and um, the staff, though, who run that out there at the Flowrider, were putting on quite the show. Yeah. It's really entertaining Re to watch them. Really talented, especially the one guy. He yeah. jumped from one to the other and was doing spins and different things. So, or I like know. one board to another type of thing. And doing kind of like little trick things and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was fun to watch. Yeah, between when there was um, nobody there. So um, really fun. But okay. tomorrow. Sea day tomorrow, yeah. but it's also formal night, and there's also another big production show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm excited for all those things. I am too. It's gonna be a great day tomorrow. So if you haven't done so already, again, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on this week's adventures here on the Naver Navigator <laughs> Navigator of the Seas. We are gonna head to bed, and we will see you tomorrow for day two. Have a wonderful night.